What you see over here is a clear indication that this house didn't have to go all the way in in terms of digging down a foundation. They used the beam and block eco concrete, eco concrete beam and block solution to have their foundation flow. And that's very, very simple. And that's what we do here at Eco Concrete. Installing a beam and block ground floor suspended slab is a straightforward process that saves you up to 20% of the overall slab costs. After site clearance, you will proceed to lay your foundation as normal, whether you're doing a stone foundation or a ground column and ground beam design. In this site, for instance, is a foundation on black cotton soil. With beam and block technology, there's no need for backfill or excessive excavation and cutaway or backfilling. Simply trench for the foundation walls and suspend the slab resting on either side the ground beam or the foundation walls. What is the minimum void allowance? The void, I believe you mean the, the space between the, the ground level yeah. and your slabs, the block and beam slabs. Uh, basically, we want to leave a small space just to ensure that there's no contact with the ground because of any arising damp layers to take care of that. So mm. any minimum about 150 millimeters off the ground, okay. that will do. And also that will cater for there for any services you require below or underneath your slabs. And uh, for the DPC, you can always do them just before you lay, you lay before you lay your block and beam system. Direct on the, the ring beam or direct on your walls. The system allows major savings on labor and equipment costs as all can be carried by hand. Now if you have any inquiries in regards to how you can make a house like this bigger or of even a different design, reach us on the numbers on your screen right over here. We see you on the next video.